Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's morning musing is about pictures. From the moment our body is conceived, we start to create energy patterns, and our body is an energy pattern as well. But these energy patterns can be visual and emotional, and I call them pictures for the lack of a better term. We go through life creating pictures and reacting through our pictures, and the most vivid example of this is war veterans with PTSD. She or he has amassed an enormous amount of pictures from that experience and carry it with them into civilian life. And every time a car backfires, every time a key word is said, because pictures can be audio as well, pictures come up in front of their eyes and their world transforms back to when that happened. Now, this happens to everyone, but on a more subtle or unconscious level. Your partner does something and it reminds you of your parent and you suddenly have a rush of strong feelings about it. Your kid starts the school year in the grade that you had problems in, and you've had strange reactions for months. You may want to move forward in your career, but you keep hitting these plexiglass walls, keep you from taking the risk. These pictures that you have within you can belong to others as well. The plexiglass wall could be your parents' fear of success that held them back their whole life. It could be society's glass ceilings, for example. Now, there are many ways to consciously de-energize, that is, drain the emotion from these pictures. There's lots of therapies out there, different kinds of techniques. I like to just highlight and delete it as if it was something on my computer. Life becomes more enjoyable as you clear your backlog of pictures. You start to see things more clearly. You start to see things with a greater awareness. You start to react to things less dramatically. You get to feel your emotions more purely, and it becomes more comfortable just to be here now. Your essential self is clear and joyful and neutral all at the same time. And de-energizing these pictures help you get in touch with the true you. So I invite you to take some time playfully and notice whenever you feel discomfort. You don't need to consciously know what that picture is. You can just use a technique that you've heard of or make one up yourself to de-energize whatever picture is causing you to be out of sorts. So I invite you to take some time playfully and notice whenever you feel discomfort. You don't have to consciously know what the picture is. You can just use one of the techniques that's out there or make one up yourself and de-energize whatever picture is keeping you from being out of sorts. And just try this whenever you think of it for the next week and notice how your reality changes. And leave me a comment below because I'd love to know what you're thinking about. And if you like these videos, please like them and share them. And if you want some help, seeing things from a bigger perspective, try my skybox technique. You can get it in the link below. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. You can see the links below for all the different things that I do. And I'll see you tomorrow in another morning music.